Okay, today we'll be opening up this Bosch oil filter, number 72226WS, and this GKI OF oil filter, number 14610. And I got these oil filters for free. Yep, a very generous viewer, whose name is Jeff from Henderson, Nevada, sent me these oil filters. Thanks, Jeff. These oil filters fit Jeff's 2017 Honda Civic LX. Yep, the one with the 2.0 liter double overhead cam engine. And these two filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. When the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone. Be nice and tight. Get your hand right here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with this Bosch filter. It says made in Mexico and distributed by Robert Bosch. LLC address and that's about all the information written on this box so let's open it up see what it looks like and we got a date code of 27729 and this is all printed on give you some instructions and this filter has eight inlet holes metal core louvers bypass valve down below well, three grooves there for threads and a nitro rubber gasket, yeah, which is kind of thin. It's on there pretty good. Okay, let's look at the GKIF filter. And there's nothing on the box. So let's, and this is the way it came from Amazon. Kind of like the box is kind of destroyed. Date code. 21365 this is also all printed on just instructions we got made in China and the filter size it comes with this plastic cover over the inlet holes this filter also has eight inlet holes metal core with holes bypass valve down below about four grooves there for threads and a nitro rubber gasket it looks about a little thicker I think than the Bosch filter and the base plates look similar similar in size okay let's uh, open up these two filters and see what they look like inside be right back Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get the weights. The Bosch filter weighs 205.3 grams. The GK filter weighs 250.8 grams. Let's look at the gaskets. And they're both both very similar gaskets. I'll put the measurement on the screen. But the, uh, the GK filter is just a little bit wider. But not much. Okay, base plates. GK filter... 87.6 grams Bosch filter 79.3 grams let's take a look at these up close you see there's more threads on the GK filter more grooves there for threads the inlet holes they're they're tie otherwise they're pretty much the same base plates they both got nitro rubber and drain back valves Which fit, fit nice on the over the inlet holes. Okay, and filter elements. We got, we got the Bosch, sixty-six point one gram, and the GK, seventy-six point nine grams. Let's take a look at the GK. You got a metal crimp seam. Metal end caps. And I counted 43 pleats. Nicely spaced, clean. But I don't have no specs on this filter, so what you see is what you get. But one thing I noticed, these, these uh, pleats look a little bit thicker than the ones on the Bosch filter. Also, it's got holes inside. You can see a little glue in there. But um, these have the holes, and they're smooth in here. 
So that kind of tells me that on the other side, uh, in here, they're going to be rough, which isn't a good thing. We'll see that after we open it up. But then the Bosch filter. Got a glued seam right here. And the Bosch has three extra pleats, 46 pleats, metal end caps, bypass valve right here, which has a setting of 14 to 18 PSI. And I'm getting all these specs off of Rock Auto's website. This is cellulose paper media with a micron rating of 99% at 30 microns. So you can see the pleats look thinner. A little extra glue there. Okay, and the GK filter has a coil spring. The Bosch filter has a stamp leaf spring. Okay, the cans. Well, turn that on. GK filter, 66.1 gram. Bosch filter, 45.4 grams. Let's get some measurements. I was getting about 0.46 for the Bosch. 0.44 for the Bosch. And I was getting a little bit thicker for the GK filter. Yeah, about 0.66 I was getting. So 0.66, yeah, there it is right there. 0.66 millimeters. So it's quite a bit thicker. You can tell it's a thicker can. The filter elements, we got 2.14 for the Bosch, 1.98 inches for the GK filter. Okay, so let's take these two filters, open them up, stretch them out, and see what the filter media looks like. Be right back. Okay, here they are both stretched out, and the GKI oil filter is 33 and 3 quarter inches long, and the Bosch filter is 41 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on this filter media. The Bosch, 0.73 millimeters thick. And the GKI oil filter is 0.95 millimeters thick. Quite a bit thicker. And you'll see underneath the microscope picture that the Bosch, looks like it's got a couple little light spots. But I think they would both probably do a pretty good job of filtering. Let's take a look at that picture. So looking underneath the microscope picture, I'd probably say the GKI oil filter do a little better job of filtering. But you have about 20 square inches of more filter media with the Bosch filter. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So the gaskets, I'd give them pretty much a tie. They're almost the same thickness. Yeah, these all look good. Okay, you got coil spring versus stamp leaf spring. The base plates and the anti drain back valves, they give them, well, the anti drain back valves give them a tie. Uh, I give the base plate to the GKI just because it has an extra groove there for the threads. Otherwise, they're pretty identical. Um, and this is a matter of preference also. You got holes, but these holes are rough. This is rough on the side here. See if you can hear feel that but see you got the you got a little bit of a ridge here so maybe it won't won't rub anyways but it could when it's you know when this filter is soaked with oil it could rub against these and make holes in them so that's something to think about because that is rough 
It should be the other way around. This the smooth end should be on this outside. So and let's take a look at these louvers. Okay, you can see those are opened up. Yeah, they look fine. And let's look at the glue inside of them. You can see the GKI has got a lot of glue in there. But it's a strong glue. It's uh see it's kind of like a brownish glue, it's not the black stuff, so it's it's hard. Same thing with this filter. The Bosch, it's got the it's got a brown glue in there. It's not it's not soft like that black glue that you see on some of the other filters. And the cans, I would give that to the GK just because it's it's thicker. And I almost forgot to mention that the Bosch filter had bigger pleats because it's narrower. The center core is narrower. You can see it fits right inside the GKI oil filter. So the pleats are a little bit bigger on the Bosch filter, making it a little bit longer, making it for more filter media. So what do you guys think about these two filters? And again, I want to thank Jeff for sending me these two oil filters. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The Bosch filter mini weighs 9.3 grams. The GKI oil filter mini weighs 10.4 grams.